Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Balt Matrix. Unfortunately, tonight I have some bad news. President of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, is dead at 55. The official cause of death is complications due to bile duct cancer. Unfortunately, Nintendo and the rest of the video game industry have lost someone that, to be quite honest, was probably the most human president of any of these companies. Nintendo has had a history of, we'll say, bad decisions, but never once did I think that Satoru Iwata did not love games. In fact, in 2014, when the company was doing very poorly, instead of firing anybody, Satoru Iwata took a massive pay cut. In fact, it was around 60, 50 to 60 percent pay cut. That's unheard of for an executive of a video game company. I don't think Bobby Kotick would ever do anything like that. In fact, he'd probably just leave before anything like that happened. Satoru Iwata has been working at Nintendo for over 30 years. He started out as an intern at HAL Industries, which was a small company in Japan. That was when I was around three years old. He's been at this company for a long, long time. He is well, he started there with Shigeru Miyamoto, practically. He was a programmer and a gamer. He was one of us, a gamer. Now, was he a good businessman? I don't think so, but that's besides the point. He was someone that could laugh at himself, could laugh at issues, and was a genuine, decent human being. And he will be greatly missed in the halls of Nintendo and in the halls of gaming in general. I don't care if you like Nintendo or not, but you have to recognize the fact that Satoru Iwata was a good person. Unfortunately, I hate to bring bad news like this, but this is breaking news this evening. Nintendo just came public with it, and I wanted to get the word out to you, gangs. So, gang, thank you for watching, and keep gaming.